1v1 game, which is our architecture for 1v1, into a 2v2 game with these novel mechanics for how you switch and stuff was there was a, a stretch there where we were building the tech and building the characters. Um, and there was a gap where we're like, is this gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Mm -hmm. And like Tom says, like the epiphany moment where we had the worst version of the game, <laughs> but the first teamwork moment was just like, yeah. oh my God, this is such a good feeling that I've never experienced oh. in a fighting game before. And it's like, I've had the experience of like being in a match in a tournament and having a coach in my ear. And I know what that feels like, right. but being able to like be the coach and then switch and then be pointing and have the coach in your ear because your teammate is cheering you and then being able, yeah. being able to call out, I would watch out for that jump and he, he's looking for your jump stay on the ground and like like that happened right away and we knew we, we had hit on something really, really Yeah, special. and what was really cool was it made like those like those salty moments like suddenly become fun. It's like, yeah. like what are you doing? Like let me in, right? Yeah, right, yeah. It's like, I mean, you guys remember, you guys did the Street Fighter Cross Tekken team tournament at EVO. I think Justin and Flo almost like stopped talking to each other. <laughs> uh, but I mean, how much... And I want to kind of do this for the benefit of the people at home, too. I mean, people know you guys as the guys who have created showweekend.com, as, you know, the people who started Evo and such like that. How much do the people, I mean, I know the audience is probably not aware of this, but how much do the people in the obvious offices know your guys' fighting game background that you guys were super, super good <laughs> at fighting games at one point in time. And I only say that because I know that you have beaten me in two tournaments, Tom, so, you know, I'm going to gas you up as much as possible so I feel better about myself here. Well, thank you. You made me feel pretty good about myself. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, so uh, folks know about, you know, the Evo story, um, mm -hmm. but, I mean, that was so long ago. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, actually. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, it's like, it's so tougher now. I don't like to talk about, like, yeah, I was good back in the day. Because, right, like, uh, I mean, like, the competition now is just, like, oh, leagues right. beyond yeah, where yeah. we were. Yeah. But, like, I think, like, you know, making this game has been part of, like, one continuous journey for us. Like, starting with, like, players and, like, oh, my God, these games are so sick. And, right. like, how can we help? And then running tournaments. And then Tony's like, well, I... I I, I think I know something about that code and like, you know, <laughs> doing the GGBO thing and now it's like, okay, like what's next? And we're always looking for like what's next. And, and so that's that's what led us here to like try to make a game. And, and, I, yeah. I always remember you had a technique in Alpha 1 named after you, the Tom Cannon. Uh, what? Really? The anti-air super, the level one anti-air oh, yeah, super. Yeah, yeah. But that was fraudulent. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't yeah, real. Didn't work. But no yeah. one knew Birdie, right? Yeah. You, the black bracket of death, you beat Alex Vai in the I, Black bracket of death of Super Turbo at Evo one year, right? So yeah. <laughs> you are going back in the vault, James. You're doing like 15 years back. Uh, yeah. But again, I mean, that's what I, the reason why I bring it up, though, is because I want people to know you are guys' passion for fighting games. I mean, you created GGPO because you were just literally sick of playing terrible netcode, right? So. Succinctly, yeah. I mean, like, latency-based netcode is not as good as playing in the arcade was. And trying to find a, a better way, something mm -hmm. that came closer. And Playing and keeping strong. Showreaken.com at one point in time was one of the most viewed sites, you know, and you guys weren't even selling anything. It was just, you know, people coming to the forums and everything like that. Yeah. The reason why I say that I feel like you two are so important to the FTC is because I truly believe that, right? Like, I feel like you guys have done so much. So, you know, thinking back, and you guys have now dedicated so much of your life to this fighting game community. Like, is this just like this kind of legacy that you look at and are very proud of at this point, you know? I, I think we got to set the record straight a little bit. I think Tom, Tom and I had a vision and a passion and a belief in mm -hmm. fighting games, and we created a space that was filled with a lot of really passionate players. Mm -hmm. Like you talk about the Dark Ages, like right. Marvel carried us through the Dark Ages. Yes. And Justin Wong and Stanford and Yipes <laughs> and Doug and a lot of amazing players came and carried mm -hmm. the FTC. And like we were doing our best to support that yeah, we effort. Trying to help. And creating structure and trying to like create, like, you know, hey, arcades are dying. Maybe we can rent out hotel ballrooms. And we took some risks and those risks worked out, but it was a community effort. Like everything we've done has been supported <laughs> 
by somebody, even Project L. Like, it's taken hundreds of people working on this project to, to see this, like, four character WC now. And they're all just as passionate uh, about this as we are. So, um, and that's, I think, what I'm most proud of, looking up, like, all right, my involvement in the fighting team community is the connections you make and the people yeah. you meet. And everyone is in it. Um, for each other and for our shared passion uh, about the game, right? Which, which makes it very special. Like, yeah, we're just in it together. I think <laughs> like like every year, like we've been able to like bring new people to Evo, either like friends or like mm -hmm. colleagues from work, and like they're just like blown away. Um, and it's not like the scale of the event or anything like that. It's like you know uh, the passion that that mm -hmm. you can see like this means something to people. Like um, and, you know like. That's why we do it, and that's why we just want to keep it going, right? Because there's something like special here that needs to live on, right? And it, it needs to, you know, grow. And so, if we can help and we can inspire other people to help, and we can all do it together, that's how we've gotten this far. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Again, I mean, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to like <laughs> make you guys feel too, too uncomfortable here. So, uh, I, I, I would like to ask more, just like. You know, Evo questions here, but I mean, sure. is that is that something I yeah. can do here? Yeah, sure, like, why not? would you guys have ever imagined Evo being at this scale right here, like with a seven thousand man tournament? You know, being in Mandalay Bay. You know, this is kind of something that you guys created. Is it something that you even imagined would get? Because one of my, you know, one of the famous scenes in Bang the Machine is Vi sitting there and like, see, they have these things at stadiums. Can you imagine one of these days? And and here we are, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, the first tournament we ran in 1996 sure. or something like that. <laughs> it was in the 90s. It was long enough ago that it doesn't matter. It was like 64 people, right? right. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, like, uh, never imagined it would get to this scale. Like, hoped that we could, like, you know, fill a hotel ballroom, mm -hmm. right? And we did that in 2009. And then it was just like, well, what's the limit, right? Yeah. And I we haven't found the limit yet right <laughs> and so i think like and what's really great is like it feels like now um having uh passed uh i guess the 